Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be talking about a new Obsidian plugin. It is called Node Toolbar and this plugin can be immensely helpful uh, for you in many cases. Node Toolbar allows you to create a toolbar that stays at the top of your nodes and can include commands, links to files and URLs. This is a toolbar that I have created and it contains a link to this library node, command that creates a new node with a template, a command to open today's daily node, a command to open the task dashboard, command to close the node and commands to switch uh, between light mode and dark mode. Now you might think this uh, does not make much of a difference because when you are on a computer you have access to keyboard and a mouse and you can easily uh, do operations uh, using hot keys and navigating uh, with the help of mouse. But when you are on a smaller screen, like when you are using Obsidian on your mobile phone, it becomes extremely useful. Even when you have to create a new node from a template, you have to do multiple clicks, like three to four clicks just to create a new node from a template. Uh, when you want to switch to your home node, then you have to do the same thing. When you want to close the node, you have to do the same thing. So this plugin can make the workflow really smooth. In this video, we are gonna be learning about this Node Toolbar plugin and learning how you can use the different features of this plugin. If you go to the GitHub repo of this plugin, Node Toolbar Obsidian plugin, you will see all the instructions on how you can use this plugin and the different features that are available within this plugin. The documentation is really well made. Uh, so you can check that documentation uh, for more information. I'll uh, reinstall the Node Toolbar plugin so that I can show you from the beginning on how you can create a toolbar. Source for Node Toolbar uh, in the Obsidian Comte plugins. Click on Install and enable this plugin. Now you can go to the Options. Here you have the option to create a new toolbar. Click on Create a new toolbar and here you have to give a unique name to the toolbar. I just write M toolbar because I'll be using that on mobile. Now here you have the option to configure items that appear in the toolbar in order. First you will need to give a label to the item or you can just set an icon from here. Let's say I'm creating a link to open a home node. So I can just uh, use a home icon. I'll leave the label as empty. Tooltip uh, open home node. Then here you have these three options, URL, file and command. Here choose file and choose the home node file. Now this is another really useful feature of this plugin. You can configure to hide the toolbar on mobile or desktop. I'll just create a few more toolbars. I'll create a toolbar to create a new node from template. New node template as a tooltip. Now here on command, you will have to source the command to create a new node. Since I'm using the Templator plugin, I'll search for Templator and here you will have access to all of the Templator commands that are available. So you have this option to create a new node from template. Done. We have created another toolbar item. Let's say we create another toolbar item to open today's daily node. I can just write daily node or I can just uh, source for a calendar icon here and choose this one and I'll leave the label as empty, there is node as tooltip and here on command you will need to source for the daily node command. If you are using the daily node plugin you will need to source for daily node. I am using the journals plugin which replaces daily notes plugin, calendar plugin and periodic notes plugin. If you want to watch the video on journals plugin I will provide the link in the description. So I will source for journals and open today's node. Here's the command to open today's journal node. Now I will add another toolbar item to close the current node. I can just write close here or source for an icon and just use the icon. I found that X, X icon previously so I'll be using that one. And I'll write close node as a tooltip on command source for close current tab. Done. You also have the option to configure whether you want to show it on mobile or whether you want to show it on desktop. So now we have created a toolbar called as M toolbar. If you go down, there are a few options. Where do you want to uh, position this toolbar? Whether you want to position it below properties or you want to fix it on the top. I'll choose top fixed position for now. And 
Then here you can also apply styles to the toolbar. By default, it will have a border, evenly spaced items and sticky toolbar. I'll just add another style button. And when you click on that, it will appear over here. If you don't want that particular style, you can just close it. So I'll just choose button. On mobile, it will also inherit the default styles. But if you want a different style on your mobile, then you can choose it from here. Now we have finished creating a toolbar. I'll close this one. Here we have a M toolbar. If I close this toolbar plugin settings and go to one of the nodes in the board and let me go again, I go to, I need to refresh it. So still the toolbar is not showing because we have not configured our display rules, right? For that, we'll need to go to again, setting plugin settings and here is a display rule. How do you want the plugin to display in your nodes? There are two options. You can either choose a property if a toolbar name is found in this property, the toolbar will be displayed on the node. Or you can do folder mapping. Let us talk about this first property. Uh, you will need to set a property. You will have this property type. By default, it is node toolbar. And when the node toolbar property has this toolbar, then it will display this toolbar. Let me show you an example. So the property is node toolbar and the property name is M toolbar. I'll add a property over here not toolbar and it's m toolbar now you can see here the toolbar is available at the top with this button styling this is a home node this is a command to create a new node from a template if you click on it a new node will be created by using the template that you clicked on i'll just delete this node here is a command to open today's node here is a command to close this node. So this is how you can configure the node toolbar by using properties. And this node toolbar will only be visible in this node, which has this property node toolbar. But if you want to display this toolbar in multiple nodes, then you can do folder mapping. For that, you'll need to go to settings and choose folder mappings over here. Click on new mapping. And here you will need to select the folder where you want to apply this toolbar. If you want to apply this toolbar to the whole board, then you can just write asterisk. And here you will need to select the toolbar. Name of the toolbar. We only have one toolbar over here. So it's displaying M toolbar. We have asterisk, which means it will be displayed to the whole board. Now, if you click on any of these nodes, all of these nodes will have this toolbar at the top you can see I can scroll down and it will stay at the top. If I go to daily note, it still has there. You can create multiple toolbars. Right now we have M toolbar. Let me create another toolbar which we'll be using on daily notes. Create a new toolbar item. Previous days note. So I'll create a link to yesterday's note. And the command will be, I'm using the journals plugin. The journal plugin has the a command to open yesterday's node. If you are using the daily notes plugin, you will have the option to open previous day's node. So I'll use open yesterday's node. Next, tomorrow's node command will be tomorrow, open tomorrow's node. I'll add another toolbar item to open the weekly node. Weekly note, weekly note, source for command, journal, and here you have the option to open weekly note. For example, I'll add this will be a home note, link to home note. And I'll not, and this will not be a command, rather it will be a link to file. Home. Done. Now I can close this one and I need to create a new mapping to display this daily toolbar in my daily notes. First, I'll need to choose the folder where I want to display this daily toolbar. That will be my reflect folder, reflect and journal subfolder and the toolbar will be daily toolbar, right? Now, let me go to this garden node. Okay. This is a toolbar M toolbar. And if I go to my daily node, it is still showing the M toolbar here because we need to uh, move this daily toolbar on the top so that it displays before the M toolbar. So you can just click on here, move off. Now, this will be displayed at first. Uh, this is a link to yesterday's note, link to tomorrow's note, uh, link a command to open 
a weekly note and a link to open home note and in home note you will have the m toolbar another feature with this plugin is that you can use keyboard controls for this toolbar you don't need to uh, go and search for your mouse and click on one of these uh, you can go to settings go to hotkeys and source for note toolbar note toolbar focus and you can assign a hotkey let's say i'll assign a hotkey as command shift f it is already assigned i'll use the sort key control f okay now we are in this node right now i don't need to i'm not moving the mouse is here i can just use the hotkey command f and you can see now the focus is on this toolbar command f and you can just use the side arrows on your keyboard and control these toolbars by using the keyboard this keyboard control can be useful when you are on a computer now another feature that this plugin offers is no toolbar callouts no toolbar callouts are custom callouts which can be used to add toolbars anywhere in your uh, node. Let us go back to the plugins documentation and copy the syntax for the toolbar callout. Here is a toolbar callout. I'll just copy this and add it to the node. Now, if I go down here, you can see the callout. Uh, here, you can see the node toolbar is created with a link to this item and the menu item. I don't know why it's not displaying correctly right now you can also add styles to the node toolbar by using the pipe symbol and use border or you can use button and they will have a button style another cool use case of this node toolbar callout was the ability to show bookmarks i really love that so here is a data view query which will be displayed in the node toolbar so I'll just copy this and add it to the node. If I go to preview mode now, it will have a toolbar with all the bookmarks in my world. I only have bookmarked home node and garden node. So it's displaying only two. Uh, you can add styles from here, even button, and it will have the button style. So this is another really cool way to use the uh, node toolbar plugin by using the node toolbar callout switch allows you to display the toolbar anywhere in your uh, nodes. So this is a really useful Obsidian plugin, especially for mobile users. You can go through the wiki of this plugin to uh, learn more about how you can set up if you want to learn more about uh, some of the features or you want to learn how you can do certain features in this plugin. So that's all for this video. I hope you found this video useful. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming with some really cool Obsidian related stuff in the future. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.